for you tonight. One final debate for the Democratic candidates in Maryland's gubernatorial race. And this one was sponsored by WOLB Radio, and the candidates really played to the urban audience. 11 News reporter David Collins monitored the discussion. He joins us live from the newsroom with the details. David. Well, Donna, the candidates aren't even from the greater Baltimore area, yet they acted like they lived in this city all their lives. Most of the topics had a Baltimore slant. They included city school construction, historically black colleges, and ideas on recreation and job training opportunities for young city residents. Of the radio version of the 2014 gubernatorial forum. The candidates tailored their responses to the urban audience of WOLB 1010 Radio. They all intoned how important Baltimore City is to the rest of the state. The future success of the state of Maryland is intertwined with the success of Baltimore City. State Attorney General Doug Gansler tore into the record of the O'Malley Brown administration. We have to A, recognize we have a problem and that they were in a downward spiral economically. Gansler also accused also the Brown campaign of incorporating his ideas as their own into the race. My opponent was uh, nice enough to have a tracker, a guy with a video camera go wherever I go with my wife and family. It's very nice of him. And, but, but by so doing, he's been able to sort of follow our issues. Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown brushed aside criticism and even acknowledged that his opponents have some good ideas, such as Gansler's ex-con reentry program and the Zier's affordable housing plan. If we're going to a, a govern effectively in Annapolis, the next governor has to be able to find common ground. Brown and Delegate Heather Mazier launched into how instrumental they were in getting a bill passed, allowing Baltimore to leverage more than a billion dollars in school construction funding. Phase one isn't enough. We have to have funding ideas for phase two. Mazier touted plan, her success in stopping plans for a juvenile detention center downtown. In ending our cradle to prison pipeline. As in previous debates, Gansler dug into Brown's handling of the state's health care exchange. We've spent almost $200 million flushed down the toilet on this website. Can you imagine what that money could have been used for? So if you measure success by enrollment, we were successful. Was it, was it, was it challenged? Absolutely. Mazia repeated her pot for tots plan, using tax revenue from legalizing marijuana to fully fund a universal pre K program. Gansler touted his Maryland roots and chided his opponents for only discovering Baltimore during the campaign season. So I'm sorry that I was born in New York, <laughs> you know, although, you know, and, 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 and that the, you know, the lieutenant governor's office isn't in Baltimore, but actions speak louder than words. In their closing statements, Delegate Mazir promised to push through background checks for all firearms. Gansler pledged to address the vacant housing problem in the city. Brown used his time to discuss his military career and how he planned to use those life lessons to build a better Maryland. The primary election is June 24th. Reporting live from the newsroom, David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News. Thank you.